I'm going to be going over 80 summer themed mods and CC items for better gameplay and aesthetics for your Sims 4 game. Go ahead and cozy up and enjoy. So some of you guys may have known that I lost all of my CC, all of my mods, all of my custom content, literally everything that makes my game my game, I lost and it really, really sucked. <laughs> But I will say, out of that really crappy experience, I was able to find a lot of gorgeous, beautiful new CC and a few new mods to put into my game. So some of these finds may not be new to you, but they are new to me and they might be new to some of you guys watching this video. So I'm really hoping that it'll be helpful to you guys um, and give you guys a chance to see everything that I've showcased. So there's 85 items all together. So it's not just in one big full swing. So it's 85 pieces all together throughout this entire video. So it's a lot. It's a lot of amazing things that I have found. Um, so it may not feel like 85 things and that's because some of these items are coming in like summer themed CC packs. but. The things that I have found are really excellent and really high quality. That I love the fact that losing all of my CC has just kind of um, inspired me and really created all of this new, all these new finds that I've been able to discover. And it's just honestly so invigorating. I love it. It's so nice to be able to put new stuff in my game that I've never had before. I've never seen. <laughs> I've been playing The Sims for such a long time and I've been playing The Sims 4 for about four years now, but I've been playing The Sims for a long time, but that's a story for another day. So anyways, so within this CC slash mod showcase video, I'm going to be going through some collections from CC creators as well as some non-functional aesthetic items that you guys will love. Also some functional items too that are honestly so freaking cool that you guys will love. And some amazing decor items that I know that you guys that love to decorate just like me. You guys are really going to enjoy those too. And I do have several create a sim outfits and bikinis that you guys will enjoy too. So for my very first CC find, I wanted to show you guys this I just found recently. However, again, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen this before or if you guys have ever like used this or found this. This is by the creator A Winged Llama. And let me tell you, I love this pull. It is so cute, you guys. It is so precious. And what makes me so excited about this is that the fact that it's functional, yes, it is functional. So the cool thing about it too is that for me, for me, this kind of pull just feels so nostalgic. Like there's been so many times in my childhood and like growing up like my friends and family you know or whoever had like these inflatable pools and you know normally they'd be like a darker blue color like from my own memory but yeah it just reminds me of that and you get like this like little ladder that comes in it and it's just so cute so it is functional like i said a winged llama did say that um the step in is kind of wonky so as you guys can see here it is a little wonky but once they get into it it's completely functional so it functions like a hot tub but it's supposed to be an inflatable pool so it's pretty cool so i'll show you guys again how they get into the inflatable pool so all you have to do is just click on the ladder and then they'll get in so again it's like you know they said it's gonna be a little wonky it is but it's totally cute and so when they do get out they're gonna basically step over so but I'll let you guys see that again so you guys can see how he gets in. So he essentially just steps in. It's supposed to function just like the hot tub, but it's so cute. And so even though it's not the most perfect animation for them getting in, it is still completely functional for the hot tub. And that's what I love about it. Like, it's so adorable and it's so cute. So like, you know, they can do all the fun things that they normally do in the hot tub. So you can click on it and, you know, they can skinny dip, they can move here. And your sims can still interact together as well so you know if your sims like wanted to make out together if they want to shoot someone from the hot tub they can do that as well so but anyways i really love this functional um i don't know if you guys want to call it custom content or a mod to me it's a mod but um this mod to me is just so adorable and it just feels nostalgic and just secondly too like not every you know, family is going to have a in-ground pool like we get with The Sims. And this is a smaller family. They have two kids and they're actually in a like renovated home. Um, well, I should say they're trying to renovate their home currently. So as you guys can see, like, that's their storyline. So I just kind of enjoy that for them that it's not like, you know, they don't have this super fancy pool in their backyard. Like it's an inflatable pool. So I love that. OK, let's go ahead and move on to our next item. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to showcase for you guys is actually a CC pack. So basically, it's an entire like bundle of CC items 
that the creator made. So this is called the Pull Side Lounge Pack by Max20. And let me tell you guys, this is humongous. All these sims are driving me crazy right now, but I'm just gonna ignore them. I'm gonna let them enjoy all the CC items. <laughs> so anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys everything that this includes. Like it is big. Let me tell you guys, it is a lot. So you get this heater, which is functional. It's really cool. So you can turn it on and you can turn it off. So basically it's just gonna heat up the area. I'm not gonna leave it on too long because I don't want my sims to, uh, I don't want them to burn up on, on the beach, so let's not do that. <laughs> um, but then over here, you get this, like, cute little decoration. You get this, like, little decor um, camera, which is super cute. You do get these, like, little end tables, which I love. I love how tropical they look. They're so cute. Um, and then over here, we have this, again, it's decor, but it is a, like, really cute piece that you can help decorate your Sims, um, you know, vacation homes, take to the beach with you. It's really nice for screenshots or just, like, decorating in general. And then over here, we do have these super cute chairs. And then we do have a cooler as well, which I like this cooler because it really feels like those kind of coolers that you'd bring to the beach with you. You know what I mean? But yeah, I love it so much. It's so cute and it's functional, which is nice. So your Sims can do all the normal things that they normally would do with, with the game coolers. And then you do get this super cute um, decorative plant here, which I absolutely love. It's so adorable. And you also get these loungers. I put two here just for like, you know to make it look pretty but yeah these loungers are so pretty i love the colors of them um personally i just think they're so high quality i love how soft they look they just look real like the textures look so nice i've never heard of this summer theme pack before and i was just like oh my god this is so adorable so there's also this other piece here which is a bar cart and it is so cute i love how realistic it is i love that it's aesthetically pleasing your sims can you know have this anywhere they can take this you know to a nice place for the summer put it on the beach like whatever obviously it probably would be in the sand but you guys get what i'm saying so um this camera right here is not functional i did set that on there but this bar is like i was saying you can hire a mixologist attend to the bar and make a drink practice making drinks so it acts just like all of the um bars and stuff like that in the actual game itself so i love that okay so moving on we do have this decorative kind of i don't even know what you would call this but it's just kind of like like a, a rolling cart that you would put like all of your um floaties and you know your pool items in so i really like this a lot i think it's really pretty again i think it looks really nice even though it's not functional i really like that it has um you know a lot of beautiful details and like the meshes and everything look really good on it like it's again very high quality and yeah i just think it looks really good and i would love to like put this in all of the pools in the game so it just really like levels up the aesthetic and then over here we have this ginormous tent which is super nice i love it it's so cute look at all these townies over here they're just like trying to get in all of like the new action <laughs> so like i said it is a huge pack that's not even all of it so Again, this is really cool. So don't mind this tree over here. Don't mind this tree. But these trees over here, so this tree here and this tree here, they're actually custom content. You wouldn't believe it. It completely blends in the game, and I love that. It's so nice. It's so beautiful, high quality. Like, look at the textures of it. Like, it looks so good. It even acts like a real tree. Like, it actually flows in the wind. I love it so much. And then lastly, for the plants, you have these three plants here that are super nice, high quality again. And you also have this beach ball here, which is really cute for decor. And lastly, for this set, this is supposed to go with like a waterfall, like a water fountain kind of thing, but I just took it on the sand so I could show you guys quickly, but you guys get the gist. So, but yeah, this is really beautiful. I think it's very um, aesthetically pleasing. I think this would go really nice in our vacation home, tropical home, in Sulani, anything like that. So yeah, Max20 did an amazing job on these. So this collection here is a little bit smaller, but I absolutely adore it. None of these are going to be functional except for this little radio right here. So let me just show you guys. So you have these noodles, which again, I love. I love the colors of them. I think they're so cute. And then you have kind of like a um, pool float here. I wish this was functional. I really do, but it's not. Um, but again, it's good for like storytelling and it's good for decor. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. So it's supposed to be kind of like a pool floaty beer pong kind of thing you'd put out in the water. So it's super adorable. And you also have this like little drink here too. It's just so cute. Like, you know, I can just see so many Sims, you know, using these items, even though like quote unquote not using it. But, you know, I can just see, like, especially with like the whole Barbie theme we have going on right now, I can totally see like a lot of people using this like in cute little Barbie builds. So again, though, this is the only functional item here. I think it's only like $4 in Build and Buy. Let me take a look and see. No, I stand corrected. It's actually $5. The radio is $5, y'all. 
It's so cute though, I love it. The radio does not come in different swatches, but I'm okay with that honestly because I like how there's like a whole theme here. Everything is so cute. I love the color palette. It's super aesthetically pleasing and it's just so adorable. Mel Bennett did such a good job on this. I love it, it's so cute. Actually, I almost forgot too, but this umbrella does come with the Max 20 pack. So this is the classic hot tub by My Cup of CC. It is so cute, I absolutely love it. It's supposed to be from The Sims 2. It is so nostalgic, so if you guys know, you know. Um, let's just hope and pray that Don Lothario doesn't show up and try to steal her from her man. <laughs> but let me tell you guys, there has been so many times where I've had Don Lothario and this hot tub from The Sims 2 um, cheat on so many women and it was just insane. It was crazy. So let me show you guys all the swatches. But again, if you guys know, you know. If you're a Sims 2 lover like me and that was like your OG game, you know, you did all that. I know I am guilty of it. I know you guys are too. <laughs> But these swatches are really beautiful. There's a ton of swatches in here. And if you're just looking for a new hot tub or just, you know, some new CC in general, or if you just want to have something feel nostalgic for yourself, this is definitely the piece for you. I like these wood tones here. I normally use these. This reminds me a lot of the um, pre-made townies. They would normally have this like color of the hot tub on their balcony. Um, I'm pretty sure it's John Lothario had this one or maybe it was a darker wood. But this one here is also really nostalgic. There was a like kind of like heart theme, but it looked just like this, the coloring of it. So basically in The Sims 2, if your Sims reached a certain level of their aspiration, they were able to basically buy this out of their aspiration rewards. It was cool. So you had to like get to a certain point in order to get that. So, so this is the Traveler set here. I love this so much. It is so beautiful and so aesthetically pleasing. So all of the suitcases here are actually functional. So that's really nice. Even this cute little bag over here. This camera, however, is not functional. So all these like little pieces. So this bag, the hat, these postcards, the shirts are supposed to be stacked shirts and this like little traveler um, care set here. Um, the book and the camera, like I said, are not functional, but they're just decor items. So, but they're very aesthetically pleasing. So if that's up your alley, these are definitely for you. Um, I think they're really, really adorable and really beautiful for screenshots as well. It's up my alley and I know a lot of you that probably would really enjoy this as well. Um, and I love these little Birkenstocks here. They're so cute. They're so high quality. They look like the Birks that are in my house right now, but they're so cute, you guys. This pack is definitely really well done. It's just so good. The quality of them is so nice, but just to show you guys again, you can actually click on the suitcases here and it acts just like a normal suitcase. I don't know if this um, custom pack was made before growing together, but it's nice that these suitcases here, at least to me, um, they look bulky and how they're like lined and ribbed. Like a lot of suitcases are like that in real life or like big traveling ones. Um, I don't remember if the ones that we got with growing together are like that, but either way, I think they look really good. I love the quality of them. So. And this last piece that comes with this Traveler CC set, I really love this piece right here. So basically what this is, is this is a like map of all the places your Sims have visited. But anyways, I like this because it's really nice. It's like the little things to me. So I really like when my Sims like travel and they go on vacation and stuff. I can take photos of them. And to me, this is like the map of The Sims 4. And if you guys are like me in any way that you like to appreciate the little things that comes with your Sims, I like to do that so it makes them more personalized or special to me for my Sims lives. Like they mean more to me, I get more attached. So it would be nice like, you know, if your Sims um, visited Mount Kaparavi or, you know, let's just say Tartosa where we are right now and you can just, you know, take your photos and put them in these frames here. So I think it's really cute and I love that you can like put this in your Sims home and like just collect them along the way. So yeah, that is that. That is this cute little traveler pack. It has so many items in it and it's so good. And the quality is just so, so good. It looks like it came in the game and I love that so much. So this CC set here is called the Playa set and it's by the same creator that I just showed you, the Traveler set. You do have these towels right here. So this is actually a base game towel, but this one is Island Living. So I like how the creator did that. They did the same thing with this pool here. So one comes with seasons and the other one comes with base game. Um, but here you can just use this as decor. But this one here is Island Living. So your Sims can relax, they can nap and they can sunbathe as well. But over here we do have these items as well, which is actually going to be just decor items. But kids can actually use, the toddlers can actually use these in Create a Sim. So there's a pack that you can use, which is really cool. 
Um, these seashells are decor as well as this ball, the shoes, the hat. This is from the traveler set, don't mind that. <laughs> um, and then we have this like little sandbox item too, which is so cute. And but yeah, I can just really see a lot of you guys using these items um, within your builds and stuff and just make things look really nice and aesthetically pleasing, especially for, you know, screenshots and stuff like that. Like this snorkel set to me is just so cute. I love that so much. And you also get this umbrella too, which I love because it actually looks like a nice real umbrella that you would see in real life. And these are the different swatches of this. I love this like little mini pool. These are so cute. And the cool thing too is like, I feel like I've seen so many of these at Target recently for the summer. They're just like little mini pools and they're so cute. But there's like these palms right here. You have these lime and these lemons, which are my favorite. And then you have the flamingo. You also have these seashells, um, some more flowers, um, more palms and some popsicles. And also just a nice aesthetically pleasing. It kind of looks like a boho theme. Looks like maybe some flowers on here too. It just looks really pretty. So yeah, um, if this is your thing, which is mine, I'm sure you guys will really enjoy this. I also like love this item right here. I like the little magazine with the sunglasses and it looks like um, it's probably sunscreen. So yeah, I mean these items, again, like, you know, if this is not your thing and you're not really into like decor items that aren't functional, like, you know, it's okay. But those of you that love to decorate like me, like this is definitely up your alley. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the um, play a set. I think it's so good and so detailed. So yeah, I hope you guys really like that a lot. It's one of my favorites. I love these items right here that come with it. It's just so good. So this next item is called the functional pool slide converted from Sims 3 by Alex Croft. This mod is on the mod the sims website and it is so good it's honestly so realistic i love it so much and it's just nice to have an item in your game that actually feels organic and it feels like it's an actually like in the game that kind of thing now the animation is a little bit wonky just when they fall in and, and they like pop back up but it kind of just seems like your sims are you know jumping from the bottom and coming back up so that's my only thing about it other than that it's absolutely perfect i don't even mind that wonky animation really like i just love having more functional items in the game that feels like true you know fun activities like we we do have activities in the game but they're not we don't really have as many as we think that we do so this other mod is called the pool jumping ladder by jules what I love about this is that it functions just like the normal, um, you know, get together jumping ladders that we have. But again, this one to me is just very nostalgic. It feels very like 90s, early 2000s. I know, again, like you're like, what, Sav? It's just a ladder. But again, to me, like it just reminds me of pieces that I had growing up when I went to pools. Oh my God, that belly flop though. Um, but I just love the texture of it. Again, it just feels so high quality. It looks like it belongs in the game, which again, I love about it. With that being said, your sim can do all the same things, like I said, with all of the, you know, like, oh my gosh, get together ladders that we have. So there's the backflip, the cannonball, the jump, and the, and the swan dive. So it's all the same thing. The animation looks great. I'll show you guys one more animation just to show you guys that it's all the same thing. And it looks just like it. Your sim's gonna jump in and boosh. So yeah, it looks great. The animation is awesome and top tier. Okay, so this next mod is called the Frozen Summer Ice, the ice cream set. And it is seriously so good too. So this is a custom menu that you would get that you'd hang up on a wall. So ideally it would be like set up really nicely. But for this video, I just have it like on this um, pull entry wall so your sim can come in here and they can like check out the ice cream uh, menu so it's really nice that I like that it's in simlish and it looks really good you have like all the flavors here so it's super cute it is functional which is really nice so you can go to buy ice cream cone you can buy an ice cream bowl and you can like change the intensity of the light of it which is really cool so there's lots of different things you can do on here. So my son wants to order some ice cream from here. I love this little cart, it's so adorable. And then there's also this nice little like vending machine ice cream set. So all you have to do is just click on it. You can hit buy um, ice cream cone, buy a popsicle. So you can, ha you know, you have several options to choose from. So we're gonna click buy an ice cream bowl and you get this whole entire menu here super long list of stuff that you could buy as you guys can see it's so long so we're just gonna do the orange sherbet so it's gonna go directly into our inventory which is so nice and the same thing with this one over here you're just gonna click we're gonna do a popsicle this time so then our sim's gonna walk over to it though and she's able to pick from this long list as well not as long as the other one but it's still very long 
And yeah, my Sims just gonna grab this coconut lime. It's $5 and there we go. It's nice because there's not a person there and it just goes directly into her um, inventory. So it's, again, obviously it's gonna be functional. She's gonna sit right underneath the ladder apparently. Hopefully no one um, falls into it, but yeah. And she can eat her ice cream. And again, I know this is like really small and if you're like me, you like the little things, but look at this ice cream, you guys. Oh, and she's getting a brain freeze too. But look at this, the ice cream looks so detailed and so real in itself. And I love that. I like that your Sims can also get a brain freeze, which is really cool. Oh, that Sim looks cute in her bathing suit. Hello, friend. Um, but anyways, yeah, like your Sim has the functional um, eating the ice cream there. And as you guys saw, she look, she keeps getting a brain freeze. Like, that's so cool. I love that. It's such a cute mod. This creator did such a good job on this. So for the rest of this video, I am going to be going through create a sim and we're going to be going through pieces through here and different items that come with different CC packs um, for our sims for summer themed items. So so anyways, I can't wait to show you guys. She's actually wearing one of the bathing suits right now that comes with these sets, um, but I'll show you guys that in a moment. But we're going to go through the Jolly Bean pool party, a mini CC set. It's so cute. I love the custom bathing suit that comes with it. So we do have this one right here. Most of you guys have probably seen this bathing suit. I'm not sure if you have, but if you haven't, I hope that you guys do love it. Um, look at all these different swatches. So I have been using these bathing suit bottoms for a while now in my actual um, game, but I haven't downloaded this entire pack. So this pack is new to me. So anyways, I'm just going to keep her in that, but the top has all the same swatches that you guys just saw. That is called the coconut swimsuit and it is so cute. We also have some one pieces here too by Jolly Bean. What I like about this one here is it's super cute. Again, it's not going to be for everyone's taste, but I, what I like about it though is you can probably see you know, like a mature sim or, you know, a sim that's more modest, that wants to cover up, that kind of thing. Someone that might be more conservative, that kind of thing. And they don't want to have, you know, their, they don't want to have their girls out and have their, their bum cheeks hanging out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel like these um, are just so cute and I just love them, especially this one right here. I think that's so cute. So this is the monsoon swimsuit. And then additionally, we do have some earrings with this CC set, which I love. I think they're so pretty and they're so high quality. So um, a Jolly Bean made these. These are so pretty to me. I feel like they're very tropical. I can definitely see people um, in Sulani wearing them. I don't know. I just kind of get that vibe. They're just really pretty. Again, I feel like they could go with like all different ages of Sims, but I really like this swatch a lot. I think that's really, really pretty. And those are the Rhythm Divine ones. And there's also two hairs that comes with this as well. And let me grab that for you guys. So these are the two hairs that comes with this. Now there is two different versions. They're slightly different. So as you can see, this one has more of just like a flat version to it. It is so pretty. I love this hair so much. Again, you guys may have already seen this hair or maybe this pack before, but it is new to me. Um, but this hair too, I like this version as well because it has like little wispies, has little flyaways. I'm really into hairs that look like that because it just gives a realistic look. My hair looks like this. I have like little wispies as well. So yeah, um, I really like that a lot and I think it's a beautiful set that Jolly Bean did. So this next set here is um, by this creator. I think you say it K.O. Kayo. I'm not quite sure and I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But I really love all of the bathing suits um, and the wraps that come with it. I think it's really beautiful. It's a nine piece set. So I did want to let you guys know this is not available yet to download, but it is going to be available for everyone free on August 30th. So I did feel like it was worth putting that in this video. I don't have them to showcase for you guys, but I did want to show you through the website itself. Um, but these bikini, um, these bikinis are so adorable. I love them so much. Like they're so high quality. I also like the tops and the shorts too. It's very like Y2K in my opinion. Um, I like the one pieces too. The one piece suits are really nice. I like how it has like the cutout and the top. And like I said, like the little skirts, little like cover-ups are so cute. I love them. And the flip-flops are fun too. They even go through like a little... Um, color palette as well on the website. So definitely check them out if that's something that interests you. I will definitely be downloading that on August 30th. But if you want to download it early and subscribe to their Patreon, definitely do that as well too to help support their creations. 
So this next CC bathing suit creation is called the Heat Wave Bikini. It's a remake and it is so good. I love it. Of course, I love like fun, you know, colorful things too and more like, you know, patterns. But I really like this because it's simple and it goes with a lot of different swatches, which is nice. This next bathing suit is called the Lola bathing suit and it's actually by the same creator and it's so cute. I love this so much. Again, it's nice and simple and I really like how it has the ties at the top here. It's on both shoulders and again, it's just simple. I really like that a lot. It has a nice um, cohesive colors for the swatches, which I love. It's just nice and simple. And it's nice too because you can kind of pair them with different colors too and it, they still look good. But yeah, I mean, don't those look so good, you guys? This next bathing suit I'm going to show you is called the Coco Swimsuit by Black Lily. And it's so cute. I love the cutout in the front. I like the different colors. It's nice and fun. What I like about this too is that there's so many swatches. I don't even know how many there are here, but like look at all these. Like there's so many different options. I like that there's neutral colors in here as well as some really fun patterns like these ones. Like this is so cute. Like I would definitely wear a bathing suit like that in real life. And I just feel like it's realistic. Like not every Sim's going to want to wear like a super, you know, high crotch bathing suit. You know what I mean? But still, you know, just like in real life, like we all want to look stylish. And this is like really nice. And I feel like it's very flattering on all body types. I really like this bathing suit right here. This is called the Bobby bathing suit. And it's just really nice and simple. Again, you know, this isn't going to be for every single sim, but I like the low back here and I just think it's really stylish, very versatile, and it's really nice for sims that, again, you know, don't want to show a ton. It's good for storytelling, so you have a sim that, you know, isn't going to be obviously wearing a bikini that's more like this, like this one here, like that's showing all the bum cheeks. <laughs> it's, you know, going to be more... Um, more their style with this right here but i really like this i love all the swatches on it i just think that it's very nice and simple very cohesive so up next we do have this bathing suit right here i love this bathing suit so much it's very like vintagey i don't know what decade this might go in maybe like the 70s or 60s probably the 70s but i just like this kind of halter top here i like the cutout in the front it's almost like bohemian feeling to me. Again, I just like the small stuff. I like the style. It's so cute to me. So yeah, if this is up your alley, I feel like you guys would probably appreciate this. I also want to show you these other bathing suits from Joel Bean. These are so cute. I love them so much. Look at all these different swatches you get. Like this is such a high quality piece. Um, I love how stylish this is. I love like the texture on it. I like the cutout, how you have that in the back. Like it's just a really nice bathing suit. And what I like about it is that, you know, you have these patterns and this is more of like, you know, sims that are more colorful, but then you have sims that might like their colors to be a little more like darker, but then you have some lighter tones too. And it's just nice because it's very versatile and I feel like you can have this sim from for all ages be in this. And that's what I really like about custom content. Sometimes there's custom content that I like that's just very specific but then it's nice to have some pieces that can be versatile where you can have a sim that has all different types of style wear that one piece if you get what i'm saying so that's what i really like about that and then there's also this like really pretty wrap dress here too which would go perfect at the beach and again this is from joel bean too and it just looks so good i love again all the colors it's just so pretty i really like this dark green it's so pretty it's so earthy so this is really cool. This actually comes with the ice cream set. So this is functional, these two lights. And also another really cool thing too is you can actually click on these custom lights and you can go ahead and buy ice cream. But this is really cool because if you wanted to make a custom, you know, ice cream shop and you didn't want to have to buy high school years, which I think came with um, like cream stalls. So all you would have to do is just put them like on the outside of like a custom build and you can I order ice cream like that's so cool. The really nice thing too about this custom popsicle set is the fact that you can actually change the swatches on it. Again, I know that's a little detail, but I'll just go ahead and show you guys the swatches just so you guys can get an idea. So there is a ton in here and I love it because it can be very aesthetically pleasing or in my mind too, like maybe this is for like toddlers and maybe you would go for like more of these like Barney looking you know um colored sets but i love those pink ones you guys know i love the color pink so 
Um, yeah, I just like that there's so many different options. You have this dark brown color, maybe for chocolate or banana. So it's just really fun. I really like that a lot. Go ahead and show you guys how this portion works. My Sim's gonna come over here and she's gonna go ahead and fill it with ice. So she's gonna come over here, fill it with ice, and she's gonna make a party of party pack of popsicles from the fridge. So you get this whole list of flavors, which I mean, that's a lot. That is a lot to choose from. So you have a pineapple, banana, chocolate, watermelon, strawberry, raspberry. You guys get the point. So there's a lot. So we're just going to choose the chocolate one and I'll show you guys how that works. So my son's going to come over here and she's look like she's baking and she's going to be mixing some stuff. And I love it because you get this like little custom. So you can actually drag this right here and you can drag it in there. So you can open this up. And you can actually put it back on the counter if you want to. And you can also make single popsicles too, which is nice. But if you wanted to put the popsicles in here, you could just slide them into the inventory. So you open it and they're right there. Or you can just put them in the fridge if you want, which is nice. But you can actually put the popsicles in the fridge too. So we're gonna go ahead and let her eat some because she's done a lot of work today modeling for us. So let's let her enjoy her ice cream. Her popsicle, I should say. But look, it sits on the table like that, which I think is really cool. And it's just so realistic. Like, look at the texture of that, you guys. Like, it is a really good texture and it looks so realistic. So anyways, very high quality. I love that. It looks My Sim needs a little reward from everything she's done today in this video, you guys. So I did want to showcase you guys these other items here. So it's three items that are just decor items. So these may not be like necessarily summer themed, but to me, like bread like this and like really cute, cozy books. Also these lemons, these stack of lemons are very like summery to me. But again, the texture on these are just so good. Like they're so realistic. It looks excellent. I love it so much, but um, I can definitely see this in some like very like bougie looking homes, potentially some cottage core houses. It just looks really nice with the lemons. Looks like they just, you know, fetch them and put them in the basket and they're going to have them later. So, so these textures are very high quality, as you guys can see. I love these stack of books. Again, they may not be summer themed to you guys, but they are to me. Um, like I said, the bread, it just reminds me of like picnics and like going out, you know, on a picnic with like your you know, your family, your friends, maybe a romantic picnic. And, you know, you just have your like little items over here. You have like your bread with you, your books and, you know, like your lemons. That's a lot of lemons to take with you on a picnic. But you guys get what I'm saying. So anyways, those are some little decor items that I think that would be really cute to spice up um, your decorations. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this mod and CC showcase. I had so much fun finding these items and putting them in the game and testing them out. It was so much fun. And I really hope you guys are able to spice up your game a little bit, make it a little more customizable, more personable by adding this fun CC in, get to decorating, get to making more memories with your Sims. I hope this video made you guys feel a little bit cozier and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.